G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about something that every LEGO Spike Prime builder needs to know. How to make sure your robot drives straight. Whether you're getting ready for a competition or just want a reliable robot, this video is for you. Hello, I'm Mr. Code. It sounds crazy, but a lot of FLL robots do not drive straight, even if you've built from the LEGO spike instructions like this advanced driving base. The robot can still tend to drift when moving quickly or over long distances, and this can sometimes be very frustrating for your team. So today, we'll be covering both hardware and software tips to ensure that your robot drives straight. So stick around for the whole video to get all of the information you need. Now, I spent a lot of time making robotics content videos just like these. So if you find the video interesting or helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Step one is designing your robot for accurate movement. Now your robot's design is key to how well it can drive straight. You want a sturdy frame with a symmetrical design. So when it turns or moves, it does so evenly. Avoid flimsy or unbalanced builds because they can cause instability, especially during straight line driving. Now, if you're designing an FLL competition robot, I highly recommend you check out my design tutorial over here. Now let's move on to the motors. One of the biggest reasons robots don't drive straight is uneven power delivery. Make sure both motors are receiving equal power and check the alignment. If one motor is mounted on a slight angle or if it has more torque than the other, then your robot will drift. Sometimes, even if your code is delivering the same power to the motors, one motor can still move with more torque than the other. This can be due to manufacturing inconsistencies dirt or damaged components. If this happens, try swapping out and testing different motor pairs until the robot can perform a simple straight move. Step three is to check the wheels. Both wheels should be identical in size and shape, and they should be aligned perfectly. Unequal wheel sizes or misalignment can cause the robot to veer off course. Clean your wheels regularly to maintain good traction. Now wheels with dirt or debris on them may slip and that can also cause the robot to drift. Step four is to check the friction. Let's not forget about friction. If your robot uses a caster ball, it might create extra drag that causes uneven movement. Now these caster balls look smooth, but they can easily get jammed without you even noticing. Try swapping it out with an idle wheel instead to ensure smoother movement. Step five, check the weight distribution. Weight distribution is another big factor. If your robot is lopsided or heavier on one side, it will naturally pull in that direction. And this is particularly a challenge when you are designing any attachments for your robot that shift the weight around, or if you plan on carrying a heavy load of uh, field elements, for example, make sure that the weight is evenly distributed across the robot. I'd like to take a moment to invite you to join our YouTube membership program. For just $14.99 US dollars or $19.99 Australian dollars per month, you'll get access to exclusive weekly live streamed coding tutorials where we dive deep into advanced programming in Scratch and Python, both of which are great to expand your coding knowledge. These live sessions are perfect for anyone looking to take their skills to the next level, whether you're preparing for a competition or just love learning more about programming. Your membership not only gives you access to valuable content, but it also contributes significantly to running this channel, helping me bring you more high quality videos and tutorials more often. I would really appreciate your support and I'd love to see you on our next live stream. So if you're interested, hit the join button below this video to become a member today. So to recap, here are the key hardware tips to get your robot driving straight. Firstly, ensure good design and stability. Check your motors and your wheels. Manage your friction and balance the robot's weight. But we're not done yet. Let's move on to the software where you can fine tune your robot's behavior even further. Step six, use acceleration to maintain traction. Now let's talk software. High speed driving 
can cause your robot to lose traction and start to drift. To avoid this, use acceleration in your program to gradually build up speed. This keeps your robot from slipping and ensures a more controlled straight movement. Step seven is to use the gyro sensor. The Spike Prime Hub's internal gyro sensor is a great tool to help you keep the robot on course. A simple gyro program can make small corrections if your robot starts to drift off its heading. And this is a good basic method for keeping your robot driving straight. And this sample code that you see on the screen is a basic gyro straight move that you can use on the advanced driving base. As you can see, the robot is programmed to constantly check its heading and make adjustments to stay on track until the timer runs out. You can download this program from my GitHub link in the description and change it for your robot. Step eight, ensure consistent battery power. Another factor that will affect your robot's straight line driving is inconsistent battery power. As the battery drains, motor performance can decrease unevenly across your robot, causing the robot to drift. And make sure that you are testing with a fully charged battery for consistent performance and to monitor battery levels during longer sessions. This adds another layer of precision as many people overlook how much battery power can impact motor output. Step nine, regularly test and adjust. Once you've made these adjustments, it is crucial to regularly test your robot. Don't expect perfection after just one or two trials. Run straight line tests and tweak your motor power or software based on the results. Even small adjustments can make a big difference. And finally, keep the firmware updated. Always keep your LEGO Spike Prime firmware updated. LEGO releases patches and updates that improve motor control and sensor accuracy. Updating your firmware can sometimes solve issues that you didn't even realize were caused by outdated software. My Robotics Center Creator Academy is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics. If your team is looking for coaching advice, we provide remote coaching, building, and coding assistance for teams all around the world. Visit www.creatoracademy.au or drop me a message to find out more. And that's it. With these hardware and software tips, your LEGO Spike Prime robot will drive straighter than ever. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more robotics tips and tricks. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.